you hear me and say all praises and honor unto your hour for Hashem, our Shai, Basham, Baka, Kodash, the learners, to the apostles, and to the elders, you know, of great men, stone, shalom, to all the brothers in across the world, you know, pushing this truth, in our sincerity, in our honesty. Um, this is a brother from James Jamaica Camp, um, Yashamai. I know more and touch upon um, the you know the bitter part, you know, or the bitter side, you know, of being in this truth, right? Because this truth comes a lot, right? The scripture say, um, much is given, much is required, right? So you come into this truth, we're gonna get tested, we're gonna get proven by our power. The how about if you know if we're worthy enough, you know, to receive all the goodies, right? Yo, we go, we the healer can go receive in the time to come, right? This is um, Revelation 10 and verse 8. Say, and the voice, let's start of verse, yeah, verse 8 say, and the voice which I heard from heaven speak unto me again and said, Go and take the little book, which is the Bible, which is open in the hand of the angel. We stand it upon the sea and upon the earth. Right, this is the point. And I went and took the and I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly, which is your mind, right? Because your, your mind also consumes things. So you're talking about your mind here. Right? Mind is also a bill that consumes information. Right? Bitter, but it shall but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. So when you start to really learn this truth, you know it's sweet there. Yeah? Actually I learn that, you know, you know, you are the we are the true biblical Israelites and that we are not no niggers, you know, or West Indians, Haitians, or Latinos, or Native American Indian, because we taught all different types of madness. You know, growing up in this society, you know, by going to Isa, Edom school, we've been taught all different types of madness. So coming to this truth, we want to start to learn about our power, right, you know, and, you know, the kingdom and all these things, right, it sounds good. But more and more, as I've been in this truth, we start to learn about the bitter side, right, because, you know, how about Hashem is going to test us, right, prove us, as according to what the scripture said, right, in the um, Ecclesiastes 2 and 1 and down, so my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right? Make not ace in the time of trouble. Whatsoever is brought upon you, take it cheerfully. So we start to understand the bitter side, you know, more and more as the year go by, you know, being in this truth. Right? So you say, it shall make thy belly bitter, meaning it will make your mind bitter. But it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Right? So this truth is sweet in the mouth, but it's going to make your mind bitter. The scripture. This is um, Psalms 119 and verse, uh, verse uh, 103. It says, How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Right? Yeah. Sweeter than only my mouth. Right? Through thy precept I get understanding, therefore I ate every far's way. So this truth is sweet into thy mouth, especially when you do start to learn, you know, certain things about, you know, being in this truth. But more and more as the, as the time go by, or, you know, our, our years go by, you start to really learn about the bitter side. Right? A lot of men, them can't angle the bitter side and them fall to the truth. Right? But, you know, we hope and pray, you know, we, the men and the Lord, are in this truth. You know, just continue to push this truth in our sincerity on this part. Because in the idea, the scripture says, if we basically turn for our righteousness and, you know, and commit iniquity, all our works so will basically put in over the years and be forgotten. And we'll get judgment, right? Double time too. Right? That's the worst part. Judgment that got double. Right? This is, um, we want to read that scripture, let me go back to that. This is um, Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 18 says, for in much wisdom is much grief, right? And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. So the more you increase knowledge or more you increase understanding being this truth, is the more the sorrows come with you. Right? So Yahweh Hashem is a balanced power. Right? Scripture tells us. Yahweh Shai go through it. 
Right, going back 2000 all these ago, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, he go through a lot. Right, him say, um, my, uh, I'll get it. This is Psalm um, St. John 15 and verse 20 say, Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. So we are the servants of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Right, the scripture in Amos 3 and, um, Seven say, the Lord will do nothing but he reveal it in secret unto him servant, the prophet. So we were in this truth now, we are basically a follow, you know, the ways of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. We already set the, you know, the way, already set the path so we can basically follow. This is what, him, this is what the scripture said, right? Remember the, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you, right? So the point I'm going to get from this scripture is that what's Lord, Lord, Yahweh Shai go through it, and we are with the servant, we have also go through it, right? If they have kept my saying, they will, yeah? My saying, they will keep your saying also, right? So Yahweh Shai go through, I'll go through it, and take away for we can follow. Alright, we're going to turn to that scripture. Alright, this is Hebrews. This is Hebrews um, 12 and verse 2. Say, um, Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despite in the shame. And he sat down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh Bashem Shai power. Right? So he go through all the things, them, you know, as you mentioned, going back two thousand years ago. Right? All man spitting on him face. Right? Yeah, even Jake back then. Right? So come down off of the cross. And then they might go believe. Because you know Jake's have a type of scarfing spirit there for a long time. So Yahweh Shai, you know, set that part so we can follow. Right? So back to the scripture now. Revelation 10 and verse. How much more read again? And verse 9 say. Back to Revelation 10 and verse 9 say. And went unto the angel. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I and I took the little book, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I have I had hate eaten it, my belly was bitter. Right, so more and more as I mentioned, that what happening here. Right, so this truth comes in a lot. Right, being in this truth comes in a lot. You're going to get, you know, child tested. Right. Alright, this is first Peter 1 and verse 7 say, That the child of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perisheth, right, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor, and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right? Because our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is getting ready now to come back and deliver us. Right? We see how Isa right, preparing right now to demonize the men of the Lord. Right? Verse um, 4, alright. First Peter 4 and verse 12 now. Say, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, right? Which is to try you. So Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai approve us. Right? If we're ready enough to receive, you know, the crown, the scripture speak about that he gonna receive, you know, or even um Ezra, you know, saw your how shy crown he elect. Right, you know, second Ezra too, you know, he mentioned about you know he let crown. So how shy gonna prove us, right? As though mm -hmm. Try you as though some strange things happen unto you, but 
but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also with exceeding joy. Right, so that's what we're waiting on you. Right, our Lord and Savior, you know, how shall right, to come and, you know, deliver us from all these things, you know, we have to go through, you know, living in this society. Right, because, you know, all different of madness, you know, of your endure, you know, you know, living in Babylon, right? Confusion to the highest level. 